the index laws. Not only can I show you the index laws, I quickly going to remind you why how the laws came about. So my first law is the multiplication, where if I multiply a to the power x times a to the power y, if my bases are the same, I add my exponents. So if I have ax, a times a, exponents are the same, it is x plus y. Okay, and simply where that comes from, if I have a square times a to the power 3, it actually means a times a, times a times a times a, which means that's the same as a to the power 5. How do I get that? I added my two exponents. 2 plus 3 is 5. So that's my first law. My second law is a to the power x divided by a to the power y equals a to the power x minus y. Okay, where does it come from? If I have a to the power 3 divided by a to the power 2, it actually means a times a times a divided by a times a. Because I'm dividing, two of these cancel, so I'm left with a. a to the power 3, take away 2, is a. And that's why we divide. Our third rule. Zoom in a bit. Our third rule is if I have a to the power x to the power y, that's the same as a to the power x times y. So let's go a to the power square to the power 3. Okay, that means it's a times a once, times a times a twice, times a times a three times. So one, two, three times. The answer is a to the power 6. So 2 times 3 is 6, and that's why we multiply that. You don't have to show this. This is just to remind you where it comes from. Fourth one is a property. It's not so much a rule, but we know that anything to the power 0, anything to the power 0 equals 1. Okay, the proof of that is if I have a to the power 2 divided by a to the power 2, it's the same as a times a divided by a times a. a cancel, a cancel, this a goes self once, a once, a and once, a and once, so my answer is 1. Which means if I apply my second law, that equals a of 2 minus 2, which gives us a to the power 0, and anything to the power 0 is therefore 1. Okay, our third rule, or our fifth rule, is negative minus x. That is the same as 1 over a to the power x. Another way of writing that is to say a to the power x also 1 over the power negative x. How do I prove that? Well, if I have 1 over 2 to the power 2, that is the same as, um, well, it's not going to work. If I have 1 over, let's say, a to the power 3, that's the same as 1, we can say, is a to the power 0 over a to the power 3. That's the same as a to the power 0, according to my second rule. Take away 3 will give us a to the power 0. Take away 3 is negative 3. So, basic rule is, the moment my exponent goes above the line, the sign change. The last rule, property, um, it's not that easy to, to show with an example. Just something you have to remember is if I have I, 1 over y, that is the same as the third a y. In other words, another way of doing it is a to the power x over y equals a to the power x, oops, a to the power x and this will be y. The way I remember it is I know that a is the, the square root of a is a to the power half, which means the 2 comes there and the 1 is there, 
And just from there, I remember how that came about.